Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Linear Algebra Tutor. In the last couple of sections, we started talking about determinants of matrices, and I showed you the row reduction method to find the determinant of a matrix. That's always going to work. Whatever size uh, matrix you have, you can always do row reduction techniques, keeping track of what you have to put out in front of the matrix, negative or, 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 or scalar constant or something, and then multiply by the diagonal elements. You can always do that. But you have to admit, it's a little bit cumbersome because if even for a three by three matrix, depending on what the matrix is, you have several different, you have to recopy the matrix several times to get down and to get it into triangular form. It can take half a page of work or a page of work, depending on what that matrix is. Also, most of the matrices that I teach you have whole numbers. What if your matrix has a bunch of fractions in it? Then multiplying and adding fractions in a bunch of row reduction steps is very, very cumbersome. So what I'm gonna show you here is the way that I like to take determinants of three by three matrices. Outside of teaching you this, what you have to learn in this class, you know, when you're in a class, you have to learn lots of different things. But when I'm sitting down with a pencil and paper and I have to take a determinant of a three by three matrix, this is how I do it. It's something I learned a long time ago, it's stuck with me, and it has saved me many, many times, even faster than typing something into a calculator. Also, I'm gonna give you a little preview in the next section. I'm going to teach you how to take the cross product of two vectors uh, using this method. Uh, and that's just uh, saves you a lot of time too because if you have studied cross product of vectors, you know that the, the formula they give you in the books is really cumbersome and, and kind of long. I can teach you how to take the cross products of two vectors like this. It's exactly the same method that we're learning here. So kind of pay attention, make sure you keep it locked in your brain. I promise you this is something you'll use for many years to come. All right, so if we want to find the determinant of a three by three matrix, this will always work. And it's not really a trick, it's really a subset of a much broader uh, technique that I will introduce you to in a few sections from now, but I wanna show you it for a three by three because it's very easy to understand. And plus three by three is the most co uh, common system you're going to come up uh, or encounter. So this is your matrix. Let's say one, two, two, three, one, four, one, two, one. Very common for you to have a matrix like this um, in an actual problem. So let me switch here. It's gonna be a little bit weird, but let me show you. Uh, and once we get through it, uh, I think you'll kind of get the hang of it. Um, the determinant of A is gonna be equal to the following. Notice how your first row is one, two, and two. Basically, we're gonna end up expanding this determinant about that first row. So the first row, the one that you have at the top, is kind of important. So you don't need to rearrange rows or anything, it's just whatever is at the top, that's what you go with. So the determinant is gonna be the first guy here in the first uh, column